Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Proxmox. Today we are going to be playing around with storage. In the last video, you may remember we installed Windows 11 onto the drive boot that I've got here. And today we are going to be moving it out of the drive boot and onto another storage device. The reason for that being if we navigate to the summary page of our boot drive, you can see that the boot drive is currently about 85% full, which is not ideal. Ideally, I want to be able to allocate more storage to my main OS, my VM 101, wherever I need to, and I need to free up more space on boot to do that. All right, so with that in mind, let's jump straight into the process. If we go to the hardware pane, under hard disk, we can see that the VM 205 disk zero container is stored on, well, currently stored on the drive boot and we are going to want to go to the top panel from the disk action selection we are going to want to select move storage that's going to enable us to move the storage off of the drive boot so under target storage we can see a list of all our configured storage on this server and before we actually make a selection let's explore the storage that i've configured starting right under our boot drive we've got this drive in nas now this drive is kind of small, so it's not going to be a perfect fit for our application. Moving on, got this drive rapid storage, which is kind of ideal. It's got tons of space left, so it's going to be our top choice for today. And with that said, let's go back into the Windows 11 VM and consume our moving storage operation. So under target storage, because rapid storage is our chosen target, we are going to choose it under target storage. And for the checkbox, the lead source, we are going to want to check that because what's that going to do is once the disk VM205 disk 0 is cloned over to rapid storage, it's going to delete VM205 disk 0 off of the drive boot. Whereas if you don't check the box, the opposite is going to happen where it clones over the disk but the original copy of VM205 disk 0 remains on the disk boot. So now we can see it's the task OK. And you are just going to exit off of this dialog and have a look here. Right now, VM205 disk 0 is no longer on boot and it's on rapid storage. And if we take a look at the console here, it's almost as if we didn't move at all. It was running when we started the move and it's still running now, which is honestly amazing considering how we went from one storage device to another without even pausing the system or you know, shutting down the system or breaking the system or whatever. So not only did we move our system completely off of one drive onto another, we also did not lose any progress. We picked up where we left off on the desktop. So with all that said, let's take a look at how much storage it actually freed up. All right, so we can see that give or take, it only freed up about 2% of our one terabyte boot drive, which is not a lot in the grand scheme of things. But hey, 20 gigabytes is 20 gigabytes. And if that means 20 more gigabytes can be allocated to my main system, we've achieved what we set out to do, which is free up space. So I guess the point of this video is to show you guys how easy it is to move storage to another storage device or to move systems between storage devices in Proxmox so that you can manage your storage efficiently and conveniently. And with that, this video is effectively over. Thank you guys for watching. If you found it helpful, please be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button as well as ring the bell so that you never miss a future episode. But that's it for this one. Thanks again for watching. See you guys in the next one.